Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Taurus for the week of September 4th through the 10th of 2023. And I would also like to give very special thank you to all of those who have subscribed to my channel and helping it grow. Thank you very much as well as those who have watched my videos and give them thumbs up. Then you know that you enjoy them and watch them. Thank you very much for doing that. And your first card out is the Empress. Nice. All right. Abundance, fertility, successful life going forward. There could be a baby in the mix here as well. Maybe you're, you know, expecting yourself or somebody in the immediate family is. Or this could be a new project, something that you want to get off the ground. That's a baby as well for many of you. And you're taking the successful steps to going forward. Your health is improving. You know, you're weeding out all the bad things in your life. You're, you know, weeding your garden, so to speak. And you're realizing that all the things you have around you and the beauty in them. And you're relishing in this moment as life goes forward. You're nurturing yourself. And you're realizing that you don't have to hover over people in order for them to know that you love them. They're very well aware of that. And the Eight of Pentacles. So look at you go. Independent, hardworking. For some of you, you're taking a course of interest. For some of you, maybe you want to go back to school. Just try something totally different. And if you do, you know, you're starting over with a whole new, fresh perspective in life. This is beginner's luck all the way around. New beginnings in a course of subjects. You know, you're finding your own independence. You're studying hard. You're like the new kid on the block with the new toy. You're just riding up and down and enjoying yourself because it's something that brings joy to you. And the death card. Are you realizing this week that there's things in your life and people in your life that you need to let go of? You know, you, you love them as, the, as you were going through it, but you're also realizing that that's part of the past and they've taught you well and, and showed you which paths that you don't want to repeat in many cases. And time's up. You want to move forward. You want to enjoy your life. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is mourn a little bit of what you had to let go of but you're also glad that it happened because it shows you what your expectations are in the future and you will succeed at them and the moon card so things around you are suddenly changing the landscape's changing the rules have changed people have changed and you're starting to see them for what's really going on you're no longer walking through your situations like half asleep you're okay with what's happening now because you're realizing that your eyes are wide open you've taken a path you're heading down it you're taking your own advice you're accepting you know you can't change people places and things but you're following your intuitions here you know you're removing obstacles out of your life and the journey ahead of you is an open book so you're wanting to make sure that the things you do are on the same path as you. You know, you're avoiding a lot of overeating and alcohol. You're taking excellent care of yourself because you have your life you want to live in a better, healthy way. And the night of sorts. So there you go, charging ahead, making plans for a trip for yourself, a quick trip unexpected in some cases a fast one it's exciting you're entertaining the whole prospect of this um, if this is a relationship you're taking charge of that if it's cooling down you're you know just letting them know that this isn't really going to work out for me that sort of thing or us so you're learning to cut the ties kindly if that's possible at all you know, and you're not really listening to gossip or what other people think or say anymore. You've already bent to all of that. You're just taking it with a grain of salt. You're not turning around. You're not taking back your words. You realize what needed to be said, had to be said, and now you're going forward. And most definitely going forward with the Six of Swords. You may be even considering moving to a wholly, totally, totally different place 
you know, maybe if this was a job, it's not paying you enough for what you're worth or what you want. And you just want to move on to calmer, better shores where there's not all this drama in your life. You just want to be moving on to calmer shores and you will. And the strength card. Yeah, you're okay with, you know, getting this pay raise in some cases. You're curbing your impulses to do things. You're realizing that you've had time now to think very long and hard of what you're going to have in your future. And you've taken that time for yourself to really question all that's around you and whether it's sincere or not sincere so that your mind's made up now on which way to go forward. And the Ten of Swords. So somebody's definitely betrayed you. You know, you've, you've got the true ideas of what they really brought to the table and what they did to you and what they said all that sort of thing so it's not nice to have to go through this but it's also on the same hand taught you that that's okay you know i'm i'm the bigger person for this you know like though this was painful conclusion to have to answer to you know whether this was a relationship a passion something that you know was unfair by all means you're also realizing that it's done, it's dead, it can't be rekindled, brought back to life by any means of the source. So you're going to take the swords out, you're going to move forward, and you're not going to look back. You're just stepping out. <laughs> and the Fool card, there you go. Most definitely. You know, you've taken the blinders off, you're believing in yourself, you're taking that leap of starting over with blind trust in your life that each step you take was meant to be for you your happiness your health you know your finances and the rest can just go by the wayside you're making sure that every step you take going forward is one that brings joy to your life and the chariot so definitely Thinking of taking, this could be a long ride for some of you, a trip, a vacation somewhere. You know, you're making sure that the vehicle is in pristine condition before you do that. You know, if this is a situation or, you know, you're if it's a dead end, you're going to move away from that too. You know, this is your ticket out of those situations, the bad ones. You're moving forward. You know, you're taking this trip which will help you repair yourself mentally and physically as well as your vehicle of course but you're not getting off track this time you're not listening to you know all the people's input which you're not asking for and you're heading for that brass ring because this is your victory lap you want this to work you're going to make sure it's going to work and you're moving forward with it and the king of pentacles beautiful yeah you are you know absolutely considering making life choices and better investments in yourself and your finances you know you're starting to put your finances where they're going to grow for the benefit of you in the future so that you're not having a bunch of leeches lurching off of you all the time you want to have funds that are going to be something in the future that you can say i have this and move forward and the five of pentacles so there you are you know moving forward you've had a little bit of a, a hiccup here maybe you've had to spend a little bit more money than what was anticipated and you're okay with that it's such a small inconvenient and it's not going to last long because you're not going to allow it to you realize that it's not a big deal there's no sense dwelling on it can't change it can't fix it and it's of no big consequences anyhow so i need to stop worrying about it and move forward and the three of cups look at you celebrating happy times happy life you know you're moving forward good friends good relatives going to parties you've got invitations you're celebrating your life 
you know, this is a fantabulous party given almost just for you. This could be to a wedding, a uh, landmark birthday, a reunion, an anniversary, even a baby shower. But whatever it is, this party that you're going to is going to make a big smile on your face, make you very happy, and you're celebrating life to the fullest. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card, but your cards are very positive. You know, you've found out who betrayed you, what they brought to the table, what they've done, and you're no longer accepting it. You're moving forward on your own. All right. To help heal this situation, see the other per person's point of view with compassion. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.